experimental recipe number two. I'm going to use hot cocoa fragrance from uh, Nature's Garden. the fragrance I'm going to take some out um, so it will be uncolored Some of this is if the it's going to discolor, so I want to see if um, it will look a nicer brown if I add cocoa butter to it or cocoa butter, cocoa powder. <laughs> so I'm going to take some out and add a little bit of cocoa powder to it, and then the rest is going to be just natural. Whatever it's going to discolor to. It's supposed to discolor to a chocolate brown color. And this recipe is the one with um, coconut oil, castor oil, corn oil, lard, lard and uh, stearic acid. So far it's working really well. It's not accelerating on me or anything, so I'm liking this. Hopefully I can get a good score with this one.
these um, little wooden boxes from the dollar store. They seem to be the perfect size for one pound, so it's pretty awesome. So I'm going to pour high with this. spoon get a bit of a swirl here I'm gonna wait till that sets up a bit and now put the um, white on top because I don't want it to uh, fall right through do a bit of a cocoa wine. Okay. I wanted to try it. I've never tried it before, so... Hmm. This doesn't seem to be working very well. a bit of practice.
probably should have done this before I put the white on. <laughs> there we go. I'm just going to do, try a little bit of a textured top. Just a little bit. But I don't want to go down into my line. I just kind of want to make it look like whipped cream on top of whipped cream on top of hot chocolate, you know. There we go. This is experimental recipe number two. <laughs> Happy selfing. Now I'm doing um, experimental soap recipe number two. This is the lard recipe. And uh, it's actually, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it is sweating a little bit. Like there's a little bit of sweating there and there. Some there. I don't know if it's just water or if it's oils. And the scent, even though I put one and a half ounce in this, has faded. Has faded a, a bit, like quite a bit. So hopefully it will come back. If it doesn't, then I'll have to add more scent to my final recipe. <laughs> this one was my favorite model of the two. cleaning them up until they're a few days old. That looks good. That's where I had the cocoa powder, natural soap. So it hasn't actually started to turn yet or discolor the fragrance. It must not have, because I can still see some natural soap there and there. And this is the unscented soap on the top. Can you see what I'm talking about? <laughs> see right there? So it hasn't started to discolor yet, so it'll take a little while before I'll be able to see what it actually looks like. did my cocoa line. I forgot about it. Then I was like, oh wait, I wanted to do a cocoa line. <laughs> oh yeah, it is discolored a little bit. It's a yellow, a yellowish color so far. And look around the edges, you can see it's a little bit brownish. So, it's going to start to takes for one of these to completely discolor. Because this is only my second fragrance that is supposed to discolor that I actually used, so. I think
think my creme brulee is still getting darker. the specs are. Hmm. They're in both the unscented and the scented. Interesting. I didn't use any titanium dioxide in this recipe at all, so they're not titanium dioxide specs. okay for my first cocoa line. I'm liking it. So the brown you see in there is actually cocoa powder. I'm wondering if the stearic acid, if I didn't soap hot enough and the stearic acid started to solidify again. This is also my first time using stearic acid. Maybe I should use these recipes without the stearic acid for, as well, just to see if that's it. Because I soap at room temperature and they are pretty hard. So I'm going to try that next, doing the recipe without stearic acid. But it might take a little while because I need some supplies. <laughs> the natural soap here too. It's very, very white. They both are pretty, pretty white, although I think this one is whiter than this one. So, I like that. I think my preference is probably going to be for the lard as a tester bar. I think it's cheaper. It's easier to uh, get lard rather than having to buy the palm oil from a supplier and have it shipped here. I can just go to the grocery store and get some lard for really inexpensive whenever I need it. Yeah, so that's what I'm leaning towards just for our tester bars. Happy soaping everyone!